You're now listening to a Press Play Network podcast. Welcome to another edition of Nerve Flow. This is issue 74 of Nerve Flow. We're in this thing once again, as we always are. What is up, y'all? What's up, dude? Not much. Just thinking about South Park right now. Yeah, we were having Hello a and good we were having a conversation off air about about not as I say about podcasts, but about South Park. So, um, but yeah, <laughs> man, we in here again, once again. Um, this is a Press Play Network podcast, of course. Uh, we are available on all major platforms. Uh, you know, Spotify, our Heart Radio, Apple Podcasts, just to name a few. Um, we also have a Facebook, uh, Instagram and Twitter. So you can either check those out, either typing in nerve flow or nerve flow podcast. You'll pop up and see the logo that you see right now. And we're live on Facebook. So yeah, we're live on the official page and live on the community page right now. So, you know, if uh, you are feeling froggy at nine 30 on a Monday, and you ain't got nothing to do and raw sucks or something like that. Then you just going to watch us. There we go. Oh, what I mean, you can be watching every goddamn night because Ross sucks every night. But anyway. <laughs> yeah. That is not a lie. But anyway. Uh, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> man, right, I don't man. even know the name of these shows no more, man. I remember WCW Nitro. You want those guys? Wow. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> you, want, you want those guys, okay? No, you. I believe you want. I believe you want. A, you want of those. <laughs> came, came on TV. Came on TBS. I, I yeah, fell off watching, a little bit. You were people watching Saturday ago. Night Main Event stuff. I know. It, it's, 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 oh, that's right. You only had an antenna, so you can pick up USA. So you know what I'm saying. That's right. My bad. <laughs> but yeah, man. Press play. Um, press play network podcast, of course. Uh, please make sure we're gonna get started ramping up on bonus episodes. So. Of course, you know, with uh, Nerdflow, we talk about video games and anime, comic book stuff, all that good stuff. But we also have the individual shows that we do breakouts on, like Spitting Game is about video games. We got Anime Rundown. Uh, we add another one to the lineup, uh, All Into Wrestling Podcast. Uh, it'll be me, myself, Snap, and another uh, good wrestling friend of ours. We'll be doing some bonus episodes on that. Um, also, um, we'll be starting putting those on the, uh, on the Patreon. So for those who, you know, want to support the show, that's the way it'd be a good way for you to check those shows out. And then a couple of days after that, we'll up the, upload those uh, bonus shows to the regular feed. So go check those out. All right, man. Uh, let's see what else. Pandemic Tour, September 14th through the 16th. Uh, NRG Center here in Houston. Um, another con that's popping up that we're going to be uh, be checking out uh, in what? It's about two weeks from now. Uh, so yeah, just David. Uh, slow, slow progress to come to San Diego. Yeah, man, that's some that's some time away. Unless somebody, you know, unless you know, listeners want to get real generous and, and you know, pay for all of us to get there. That would be really nice. I know, right? Uh, <laughs> but yeah, man. So uh, at Pandemic Tour, uh, they just had two new announcements uh, for Pandemic Tour. We got um, Chuck Norris just got announced, added to it. And uh, Paige from WWE. So, Wait, you who, who's from WWE? Paige. Oh yeah, Come on, no, man, I'm please still, don't do this. I'm what? still stuck on old ass Chuck Norris. I'm still Chuck on Norris, Paige. dude. Chuck Norris Paige is on a show. bunch of. Okay, let's okay, let's get this straight, young. Chuck Norris is on a bunch of cons that I that I look at and try to. And, you yeah, know, when I'm looking at the, when I'm looking at the actual celebrities, on he is on a bunch. He was showing the couple of last year. Yeah, he is. Yeah, he was a I know he was a uh, I was, and I said the same thing last year. Why was old ass Chuck Norris there? That's like saying why the fuck Van Dam is at a martial arts convention, even though he motherfucking ninety, but he's goddamn Van Dam. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's not talking about how Jelly look right now, but anyway. yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Jelly, 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 and Jackie Chan old as a motherfucker. No, like, they don't. They didn't. Hey, age very, yeah, they didn't age very well. Did y'all see Jackie Chan last movie? Oh, uh, yeah, the nope. one about the, the daughter getting... I can't think of the name of it. It's the, about foreigner, the, the Foreigner. The Foreigner. Yeah, The Foreigner, yeah. yeah. Oh, uh, pretty much like the Asian version of Taken. Basically what it was. That's all it that was. Exactly. Pretty much. Pretty much. <laughs> so, so like, are we, in the, were we, are we in the era... Because, like, Denzel is one of my favorite actors. But are we in the era where we got to start saying 
old guys just kick ass and give it old guys on the streets a lot of faith and a lot of unnecessary, I mean, uh, unnecessary doom for them. Well, Young, if you want, you're free to sign up to do an um, action movie if you want, if you feel that way. No, Young is already done throwing goddamn Magic Mike. Yeah, I keep forgetting about that. I don't know, I don't <laughs> Who know is Young? I'm so tired of this motherfucking boy. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, the dude is occupied. He can't take no more roles. He's occupied with Magic Mike, getting his cocoa butter on and everything. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> let's get it, Young. Hey, anybody, hey, I support you, nigga. I got you. <laughs> So yeah. when is the next uh, movie coming out? Uh, actually, coming out in 2019. You little motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> like Post production. I know exactly. <laughs> so you need to hurry up and release that bitch since you the star of it. You know what I'm saying, <laughs> All right, man. Uh, we want to kick out the uh, podcast with one thing. We, I mean, we typically don't talk about this type of stuff, but it happened in the community of gaming. So, man, on yesterday, there was a man oh, tournament yeah. in Jacksonville, Florida, and one of the participants evidently was a super duper sore loser. And there was a shooting that happened at a man tournament in Jacksonville, Florida. Hold on, let me say something, man. If your ego pride and just your all around person is so fragile that you can't stand to lose and you got to kill somebody because you lost. Take a motherfucking gun and kill yourself right now. I'm just no, going right? to go into it. Just yeah, kill yeah, yourself right now. And what, and what happened to the motherfuckers breaking their own control? I broke like 16 little bitches. You know what I'm saying? I ain't running around shooting niggas in the face. You know what I'm saying? So, and you got to look at it like this. You got to look at it like this. The only way you get better is by losing anyway. So, uh, exactly. And you know what's crazy? You know what's crazy? The dude actually won a tournament to get to that Madden tournament. So they ain't like he was trash. He won the whole. He won the whole thing a year ago. Oh well, damn. What's well, it? So it's like, you know like, calm down, Tom Brady. You know what I'm saying? You can't win them all. I know, right? Exactly, like, bro. And more importantly, our condolences do go out to those families that were affected by that. Yes. Too. Yeah, the condolences. We hope the people that were injured recover speedily. But man, like if you if you know on your mindset you can't stand to lose, don't participate in nothing. Just stay at home and play the computer. I know, right? You, I'm sorry, bro. If you make it to that level of play where you were playing at, um, taking an L should not be a problem for you. Especially no, no. It should, it should, that's the last thing that you should have a problem with is taking the L because I'm to get to that level you had to take a bunch of L's, bro, to, yeah. to get to that level because it's some good yeah, math. That, that is a hard game anyway, so it ain't like it's easy. It ain't like it's, it's, it's something you can pick up and play. So that take years of perfect. So my thing is clearly the dude been winning all the time, so you just couldn't take this L, and, you know. Then that's and like hey, that's all you gamers out there take your L's, take your L's. Ain't he younger than us? Like ain't he like what he like like what twenty four or something like that? Yeah, he's younger. He he, he like he's uh, like yeah early twenties probably. So dude, it's possible that all of us that been playing Madden since the nineties can kick your ass. And if I'm not mistaken, he lost to somebody that been playing Madden since the nineties. So you know that like don't don't. And see, that's a lot of thing. A lot of these younger generations got to understand. Like when you talk to folks that was born in the eighties, like video games was just coming out when we were born. So, like we actually grew up on this stuff. So, like we were the, the betas. We were the betas. Yep. So we we tested all this stuff. We've been we got years invested in this stuff. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Hold on, wait, wait. I'm gonna I'm say this. I'm gonna say this. I'm gonna say I agree with your statement, and I don't want to start no beef with like the current generation. But I'm looking at like when you look at even the kids in the '90s, in the '80s, mixed in together. When it came to games in general, fighting, sports, and whatnot, adventure, action, whatnot, we still had to put in a lot more work to accomplish a lot of a lot of things on that game than the current generation nowadays and we talked about this podcast like issues ago like they got it somewhat incredibly easy to get stuff nowadays they literally can buy all the accomplishments so uh, i'm looking at like when it comes to this tournament and whatnot you can't really beat somebody who was playing a game 
in a stage in which it wasn't like it was today. So, and they adapted to oh, it. Listen Bro, to me, have, I'm going to put it like... We didn't, okay, let's get this straight. I'm, let me, let me get this out. If okay. you don't know what it's like to wake up early in the morning, try to beat a game in that day, and if you don't beat it, pause your game and turn your TV off and hope <laughs> your game don't freeze up so you can wake up the next morning and finish trying to beat the game, then I don't need, I don't want them to tell me about nothing because it was hard on us. If you don't know about, like, if you, like, you don't know about blowing in the tape and slapping that tape and trying to jam it in your Nintendo oh to get your Nintendo to jump off. You comes got to sit here and clean your disc off, got to wipe it down. I'm saying I had that. I had that. Like the uh, like the entertain the NES, I had that. I still got it in my room. So I know what you're talking about blowing into the uh that cassette all the time, man. Shoot, that gave if me you don't know this, if you don't know the struggle of watching the play of sitting up there big and hoping the PlayStation sign it get past the PlayStation sign. Yep. <laughs> Well, I got, I got that PlayStation, uh, that signature sound, like, locked, especially the PS1, locked in my head. I haven't had to restart this mm-hmm. motherfucker for the first game. I had to turn my PS1 upside down to make sure you play certain games. You know what I'm saying? Bro, bro yes, bro. Or sometimes you miss, how you miss how you have to start to spin on your disc and slam the top down. Yeah, oh, yeah. my freaking God. Shoot, the ad, even add to what Young said, it's like, bro, we came from the era of no save points. Y'all, uh, no y'all got point. y'all got hard drives. Come on, we had thirty two megabyte memory cards. We eat that mug up like nothing saving you, the game. And you still had to delete shit. You had to delete your most. You had to make you, dude. You up, here, it, you, up, you up here as a you up here as a teenager, a young kid trying to make life decisions on if you gonna yep. play this game or on <laughs> on space. Hey, hey, remember this now? We said thirty two megabytes. You know what I'm like, saying? Bro, like Jeez, Final Megabyte. Fantasy VII was the worst game on memory cards, bro. Final Fantasy VII took up about, you know what I'm saying, about 24 uh, memory cards. <laughs> like, bro, you couldn't even, like, you had to have, like, if you was fortunate enough, you had a memory card for each Every specified game. game you had. Yep. Yep. Like, bro, we lived the struggle. <laughs> I, mean, I, I, like, I guess we get to that point. Back to back to what what I would what I would think, and I don't think it's going to change, in my opinion, the the level because you know you know competition gaming is like exploding. You know, they got gaming leagues. People are getting paid. You know, saying actually be gamers yeah. now, which, yeah, which is what we wanted. So I don't think it's going to hinder the the I would say the fucking explosion of competition gaming that's going on. And I don't think it's going to hurt the bad tournaments. But at the same time, I think it's gonna make make players, and I think I think we all should be, you know, more, I'm saying, more aware when we are in these gaming environments when we we gather around more people and stuff like that. So, and for us gaming communities, I feel like we're 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 safe on that end so far because we haven't had these incidents happen a lot. So, yeah, like I think more like than anything, real they're gonna, talk, they're gonna tighten up security for sure at, up, uh, exactly. at a lot of game yeah. tournaments now. That'll be one thing that'll be yeah. for sure reinforced. But you know, one thing though, when I heard about this yesterday. I was like, I shook my head because I didn't finish reading the whole thing because it said it just said at a gaming tournament, and I yep. before I even read the article, I was like, please don't let it be Call of Duty because there I'm pretty Man. sure there's a politician sitting somewhere Man. was nowhere. hoping that crap was, a, was, a, was a first person shooter so they can yep. exactly. easily say, see, the shooting games do make people do violent stuff. Well, because well, because, because it was a sport game, you know what I'm saying? They're gonna say that, <laughs> yeah, right. But you know what? It yeah. was just uh. I mean, like, growing up, especially with fighting games, because basically those was the only games we really battled in, really, like, fighting games. It was... I didn't see some meltdowns, like, some real meltdowns, where folks uh, snatch their joysticks, especially at the time if you ain't have two joysticks and somebody else brought their joystick over to the house and you kicking their ass where they didn't snatch their joystick out your game and took their joystick home. Like, I didn't see your friendships ended. <laughs> so you saying, so you saying that the problem is all about video game rage? Nah, I'm like, I like, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be honest, and I'm gonna call it, I'm gonna call it what it is. We all done did online gaming, like, like, thun, uh, like royalty. We we done Halo online competing gaming, uh, um, and Young. I'm sure you done it. I think we, should, we we all done it. And honestly, 
Dude, yeah. there is a lot of there's a lot of damn angry racism shit on online gaming because when we, we like, play these shoot games, all you hear oh, is all you all you hear is oh you fucking nigger. I kill. like so they so I feel like these yeah. people are used to raging behind a screen on video games. Like I'm not gonna say a specific race, but we just know just happen to be the lighter people for some reason. But like the most know. racist people to me are on Call of Duty, bro. Because <laughs> like I say, Call of Duty and Grand Theft Auto Online. Right. Yeah, those two, uh, those two uh, online, uh, online communities are, are uh, super uh, aggressive, ready, especially Call of Duty. Like, I feel like, man, Call of Duty, if you're a black dude, you might as well get ready to get called every N word that, uh, that, uh, that we uh, never heard before. Bro, you haven't, but you know what? I can honestly say this you haven't had your best laugh until you hear like a nine or 10 year old on Call of Duty, like raging out, bro. Rampaging. Like straight rampage. And I'll be honest with you, I used to, I used to, I used to laugh at that. But now when I hear that, now I'm like, okay, this kid got anger problems. This kid might lash out in real life on some motherfuckers. Like real talk, because they had got to the point. I was so good at all Black Ops Two. I just, I wouldn't even use a assault rifle or nothing. I just get a handgun, and I just walk around shooting folks with a handgun and just stabbing them. And like this little white boy, I literally remember this little white boy was just. Like raging, like his mom was trying to come in there, coming down, and he was calling her bitches and stuff. I was like, "There's no way that could be my child." I know it's frowned. I know it's frowned upon nowadays in our community to whoop your kids. But oh no, yo, no, it ain't, no, it ain't. No, 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 no. Like, oh, like bro, like, like, like say. real talk, man. Like, I'm... you cannot, like, like, if your child. Go to school and tell a teacher or something that he, he got a whooping, or he or she got a whooping. They would send the social workers to your house. Yeah, well, my son told his teacher he got a whooping. They do shit, so I ain't worried about that. Yeah, my son will catch a hell real quick. It depend on it. <laughs> it, it just depend. It depend on the school and it depend on the community. But a lot of kids, don't, get, don't get me wrong. Now I don't have to. I, ain't, I have I ain't, actually, actually well, for behavior wise, I don't have to whoop my son if he got a whooping. It'd be for school or some shit, but I ain't had to do that in a while either. But I'm just saying, nigga, I, I, my son know I lay down the law, nigga. Fuck, fuck, time out and all this bullshit. Shoot, I can look at my son in the request way and he'll go sit down. So, <laughs> and me, I, I'm not a father, but I'm an uncle. So my nieces <laughs> and nephews, they know if I give them a certain look, they already know it's time to calm down. But they know I, Uncle Quinn will get that ass. But at the same time, like listening to this child <laughs> talking to his mom the way it was. I just thought back to my mom and thinking I wouldn't even be living right now. I saw my mom punch at my brother when we was kids, and he ducked Damn. and she broke a beam in the back of the wall. Yeah. <laughs> um. My mom almost could. My mom tried to do a finishing move with my brother. <laughs> <laughs> she was gonna hit that nigga. And he was gonna explode. <laughs> I just knew a little white dude. Hello, T. Whoopsie. <laughs> what up, what do you do? What's up? Hey, um, But yeah, man. Um, some other stuff that's in uh, gaming that happened too. Um, I don't think I don't know if y'all heard about this. So did y'all hear about the? There's a uh, like a like an AR shooting game, right? That Called. It's like yeah. a zombie game. It's like a Walking Dead game. And you heard about the yeah. kid that got. I think he got arrested or got in trouble because. It's an AR game, so he's holding his phone up and he's shooting zombies. He was at school doing it, and yeah, that boy caught a charge. Uh, okay, right. so that's another thing. I feel like people are, are hypersensitive. I know people are hypersensitive about it, but it's just some stuff. I feel like you gotta let go. Like you can't even like when we grew up, we could have BB guns and stuff. Like we can't even have like you can't even be playing with a BB gun no more. Let alone, uh, let alone a toy gun. I mean, case in point, Tamir Rice. So, you know, and I think that's what led to them. Like, if you look at, like, Nerf guns and stuff like that, you see how they change and they look more cartoony now. And then, you know, you don't even see super soakers no more. So, you know, it, it's just like we live in this hypersensitive. What are you talking about? I said it's super soakers, but yeah, go ahead. I mean, bro. <laughs> that might I be mean, a real thing. <laughs> when the last time I saw a toy store? Uh, when before Toys R Us closed down, like last month, two months. 
And I haven't yeah. seen one since then because the ones in Mississippi been closed. Well, yeah, yeah. We, we, well, KB Tours was gone long, 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 long time ago. <laughs> 15 years ago. But you know, we grew up. There. We grew up in the era of like the super huge super soakers and super huge nerf guns. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We had like that crap was like enormous, like freaking two gallons of water in a freaking backpack. <laughs> Basically, all them, all them water barrels that you got to attach to them, man. Yeah. yeah. I, mean, I know some people used to be so freaking dirty when they would do when they would do water fights. Man, they would put bleach in their damn thing Bleachers. and get on the color shirt. Yeah, you know, it was a wrap. <laughs> oh, don't I, I your favorite color shirt. Line. Water fight. It was basically going to war because you filling up all. You had a big super soaker. You had the little the little plastic water guns. You also had water balloons. And if you was, and if if your yard was fortunate enough to have a water, I mean, a water hose in it, you just went for the gusto. Yeah, that's what I did. I had water hose in my yard. Shoot, mop it. I ain't got uh, yeah, I cheated. <laughs> I ain't just cheating. <laughs> Cheater. Uh, all right. Uh, so, um, Streets of Rage just got announced today. That there's gonna be a Streets of Rage four. Man, the last Streets of Rage was in Axel Pop ninety one. I, I must say, they better make this shit too damn updated. <laughs> oh, it is, man. I, I watched the uh, so I got I watched the trailer. I didn't realize there was a trailer. I saw the uh, I saw the uh, article on Twitter on my feed, and then I, w- I was reading about it. But then I also saw there was a video that was tied to it on YouTube. It looks really good. Oh, uh, it's a Shit, side scroller. Brother. Side scroller, still keeping the same uh, game format because I was hoping they weren't gonna make it like 3D or something like that. Uh, art style, art style is really good. It's like it's it's, it's it pops. So I can tell you that much. So if you watch so, play like this on a like a 4K TV, it's gonna look really good. So did they show like did they show character names or they show two characters? They show a male and a female. So I'm not sure if they're gonna add more characters, but that's they just show two characters they show in the in the trailer. So I wonder if the male and female are gonna be Axel and uh, what was the girl name? Uh, hey, they just need it. Just make sure my boy skates on there. Just make sure Axel and skates on there. I, I think they... Axel is on the game. I think reading about it on IGN it was that I think he's one of the names that was up there that was confirmed so far. Because Axel was in every Streets of Rage yeah. one, two, and three. Yeah, true. I just well. I just want skates on there, but I don't need him saying no. Oh, he he. <laughs> I know. I remember, we, that. I remember that crap. We live. Yeah. We we live in an age where you can actually hear what they saying clearly. Cause I, I I was literally. I hate to hear grown people now still say I you you kid. Like motherfucker, it's called a hadoken. You better not say I you kid no more. <laughs> Look, look, look here, uh, Street Fighter fan boy. We we know you know. <laughs> oh man, um, but yeah, I'm so just that's saying, be... bro. We we too grown for folks to still be saying how you get. <coughs> hey man, I know some people that still say it. Though. I really do. Uh, well, I pray I never say it incorrect around you. <laughs> Ever. Oh, you will be corrected. That just to me that's irritating. That just as irritating to me as hearing somebody say street or put the S at the end of feet to add feet. Like that just hurts my nerve. <laughs> <laughs> I know the I know the exact name of the people that you are referring to, man. <laughs> they are they are in the city where you are currently living. Uh <laughs> be quiet. <laughs> I ain't gonna call no name. Oh. Like I literally, I literally correct people on the spot. I have no qualms about doing it either. <laughs> uh, so with Streets of Rage being announced and coming back, man, what's some other games from that from the like the Nintendo era that we would like to see back? Like Streets of Rage was like a uh, well, she raised what Sega Genesis or Super Nintendo? Sega. Sega I know okay. I had all three of my eyes on Sega. Yeah, I had all. I would on like Sega too. to see. I would like to see something like Contra come back. They redid a Contra. I thought they did like a. a that was on PlayStation Two. Two. Okay, so they did. They did. They did do a, a remaster. Of it. I would like to see like a battle to updated Battle Toads or Double Dragon. I, I would love, suggest especially Battle Toads. Oh my 
<laughs> I mean, because if you think about it, the longest running games that they've been sticking with basically been Sonic, Mario, and Zelda. Yeah. Well, Final Fantasy and Final Fantasy have been out since Nintendo too, so. Yeah, I mean, and those type of games, like those type of games that of a, of a developer wants to like go in and remake those games like a Streets of Rage, those are games that like hit the digital store. That's not something that you're going to, you know, drop $60 on. You're going to pay like, you know, $20 at the most for some of those old remakes or something like that. So, so like... Like I do you th- like something like Vector Man or something like this? Yeah, you know? like yeah, I would yeah, I would say like Vector Man. Um, I'm trying to think of what's another one. Um, uh, uh, man, y'all remember Bloodsport? Yeah, yeah, I remember that. I remember that back in the day. Zombies. What was it? What was the name of that game? Zombies ate my Zombies ate my neighborhood. Or yeah, yeah was something like, my neighbors. Yeah, something like that. Or well, something. I know. I know. I remember Paperboy, which that wouldn't even fly right yeah. there. I don't, I don't know what you could do. Nah, that. hell no. Nah. Make Paper it even Boy. interesting. <laughs> even they don't even deliver. Well, people don't even ride bikes to deliver papers no more. <laughs> the new, the new version of that is uh, sitting on the computer sending emails. Yeah, basically. <laughs> <laughs> Shoot. Um. All right. Uh. So. Uh. Today. CD Red Project. Um had a mysterious stream just pop up and it was you know showing a bunch of computer code and stuff like that and we got our first look at cyberpunk 2077 gameplay today it looks great i'm damn impressed your mommy of dead ex is up on meth that is very, that is <laughs> that's, a, that's like the greatest like depiction <laughs> dead sex but on crack <laughs> It really is. Uh, this is amazing. I'm, still, I'm still waiting on this Avengers game. Dude, okay. So, this is Square Enix that's doing this game. First of uh, all, don't worry about it. Don't, don't yeah, 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 there you go. Don't, we're gonna be, don't, we're gonna give, be don't give me on, the headache. We're going to be knocking on 40 by the time this game is actually, before we even see gameplay. <laughs> I told you, you don't give me the headache. You uh, just wanted to give well, me the you, headache. You, you, you brought it up, so I just wanted to do uh, it. It'll, it'll be out. No, it'll be out next year. They, and they, it's going to be in their best interest. And then it's going to be like, man, well, damn, what's still taking you so long for Final Fantasy VII? It's like... No, we, we shouldn't have said nothing about it. <laughs> 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 That's basically what they, they, they wish. They wish they hadn't said nothing about it because they, uh, they... And the thing is, they said that crap like twice after E3. They was like, um, we think we announced Kingdom Hearts 3 too early. Mm, really? No shit. How'd you, how'd you get that? How'd you figure that one out? Just saying. Oh, you, know what, you know what my goal is? My goal is to one day build a gravity machine. Like Bulma did, like I don't say train five, it. Got all the developers at uh, Square Enix, but anyway. Yeah, I, I mean, I, 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 yeah, I must say because I don't know. I can't say that because Square Enix still making some dope ass game with good stories. No, they do. They do. It's just the games we really want. They taking their sweet ass time with. <laughs> hey, I, I rather that than rush it like they did. What fucking uh, No Man's Sky and that. Shit was should have been released a year ago. <laughs> that should have been to, like a month ago. That should have been the first. Like, release. Yeah, it should came out last month. <laughs> <laughs> like the first time, not, not the second time. <laughs> but yeah, uh, Cyberpunk like super good though, man. Um, so it's like just little tidbits that was in the trailer. Like so, for customization, it doesn't take you into a menu for like when you customize and add different mods to your to your character within the game. It actually goes through like a whole like it's almost kind of like a um, it's kind of like a CG like I don't want to say it's like it goes through like a cinematic in a sense when you when you add and you do mods to your to your character and all of that like it's a lot of like it's like deep 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 customization and they already said it's it's a, it's a first person RPG so but man it's it's from what I saw so far really good um I got a y'all get a, huh what's up. So, so like, I think it towards the end of the video after the first, I guess, mission. Like, mm-hmm. I saw the, I saw the game. It looks like it was in third person when they were driving a car. Mm-hmm. So I'm just curious, is it? Because they said at the beginning of the video, everything you see is not going to actually be the final thing, the final product. Product. So you think at some point they'll probably like 
change it up to where you can do third person sometimes and first person sometimes? No, nah, they said they said well they said from the jump in the very beginning of it and I, the guys on IGN kind of touched on this too that they made it pretty clear that it's it's a first person game there won't be like a third person or nothing like that they want you to be um immersed in the world itself so the risk the reason why they why they kind of made it first person mm-hmm. um so that's kind of where I think they said that's why the kind of where they're going to keep it I know they I know I did see like stuff I saw like car chases they show video gameplay of that so it's going to be you can I guess within the world there'll be some stuff where you will be uh, doing some car chases, having to shoot while driving a car and all this type of stuff. So it looks it looks pretty good. Like 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 uh, Jake May nope. said, it's DSX on crack basically. Oh, DSX nope, meets no, uh, Grand Theft Auto. Uh, I, I, and I, I only say that because of how interactive it is. Like DSX is the world and every environment is like it's so meticulous and detailed. Like it mm-hmm. makes you want to explore every part of every room. You know what I'm saying? Because mm-hmm. there's always some dope stuff to find. So it's, it's remind, it reminds me of that. So, it looks like I, a. I, go ahead, go ahead. No, uh, when y'all finish with this, I got something I'm gonna bring up. Honestly, that that game it looks it looks like a better version of a movie, an anime turned into a live action movie that we ain't gonna speak on. But yeah, it, it looks that good. That's how. Yeah. That's how no, much it, I like yeah, that it game. looks. It looks. It looks really dope. Uh, what you got, young? So I brought up a list of old video games, and I'm just gonna. You know, try to see if some of these y'all would like to see come back. So we already said Streets of Rage. So you got Gunstar Heroes, uh, Comic Zone, yes, Castlevania, yeah, Castlevania Bloodlines. We had a remake. Yeah, it was pretty good. Don't know why they didn't come back. Ultra Beast. I remember that too. Uh, Fantasy Star Four, Earthworm Jim, which I love that game. Shining Force 2. Don't remember that game. He go go one we all know. Toe Jam and Earl. Yep, remember that. (laughs) I don't remember this one. Beyond Oasis. I don't know what that is. My shit was Shinobi. I've been said I wanted another Shinobi game. Yes, we need a Shinobi game. Like Ninja Gaiden. And a new new Ninja Gaiden. Ninja Gaiden had his, you know, he had his run when we got freaking black like three different damn times on two different no, generations. Year. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, uh, golden Axe. Re- ain't never seen a company release a game three times and name it three different things all three times. Yeah, no. Same damn game. <laughs> Yo, he got one he got one that can come back, Kid Chameleon. Yeah. Yeah, that could. That was a very popular game. Rockstar, Shining Force, Echo the Dolphin. Like, if they go back and just remake the first Mortal Kombat with today's technology, I think that'd be the hope. What about Trilogy? Yes. Yes, yeah, Trilogy. Well, yeah, Trilogy. Ghost and Yeah, but that, they won't ever like, re- actually remake that, though. Ghouls and Ghosts, I'm sorry. Landstalker, the Spot game. You remember, like, the 7 0 Spot had a game? Oh, yeah. 7 Up. Hold on. Does the drink 7 Up still exist? Yes. Oh, yeah, yeah, what the fuck? Yes. <laughs> I haven't I seen it in a while, man. I, I'd be I, I drank one like like two days ago. <laughs> yeah, only only I used to remember I only used to remember seven us when you had a stomach ache, and that's that's what you know, <laughs> that's what I hear. Oh, uh, actually, 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 I went to QT looking for a Mountain Dew, and I said, you know what? I don't want all that fucking sugar. Let me get a seven up because seven up is like just a not in, a less intense version of Mountain Dew. I don't have all that sugar in it, but yeah, nah, like, like, yeah, it, uh, it ain't got much. It, like they they switched their formula. They went to all natural flavors, and they and they they use less sugar. I'm surprised. But, yeah, seven of them look like PCs. I'm surprised he ain't seen like. The I saw Surge at Walmart story. the other day. Oh my god! <laughs> yeah, Surge, Surge, will make your ass Surge for real. <laughs> nah, y'all know something I ain't know, and I felt bad because this this happened around my era. They had a PlayStation game thing called Pepsi Man. Fuck. I, I I know. Just look it up. It's it's a okay, it's a I'm real thing. It. Pepsi I'm man. That one as we speak. It's it's a, it's a PlayStation One game. It's a Pepsi. Hey y'all. Uh, so so who remember this on Sega? Michael Jackson's Moonwalker. Yes, sir. Yeah. Oh, I remember man. that. Played it. Game was dope. Yes, sir. The worst fighting game ever created in history. Eternal Champions. No Shaq. Leave it with. No, it wasn't. no Shaq. Food. No, I was a yeah. Shaq. Food. Hey, hey. 
know what I'm saying? Eternal uh, Champions, you know what I'm saying? I'm not the, you know, it was kind of shitty, but, you know, it wasn't that shitty. Hey, man, a lot of people played Eternal Champions, and yes, there were. I know. That's the we got it for free. I played the hell out of Eternal Champions. Somebody bought it for me, man, unfortunately. Yeah. I got it for free. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, like I said, the original hey, Double Dragon. Oh, yeah, Double Dragon is definitely. But I, a, I would a want my Double Dragon to be like the cartoon was, if you remember the cartoon. Because Billy and Jimmy had their swords and stuff like that. You know, the rig, like the, the Double Dragon gang was just a side scroller with, yeah. you know, you just walk, walking, punching, and kicking. But, like, the, the cartoon was Billy and Jimmy, they had their swords and, you know, they changed into their outfits and stuff like that. I, I, I would like something like that. Yeah, that would have But so was... many games on mobile now, so... Like, a, a lot of these old games that we just brought up, you could actually play on your phone right now. Yeah, you could. You could. I mean... Actually, yeah, because got Sega, like yeah, yeah, Sega got their... Uh, they got, what, what is it called? Knights of, Knights of Sega or something? Whatever going on with Sega to where they release releasing new Sega games every week. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah I, I mean, when you think about it, our phones got more processing power and more memory than our games had back then. Yeah, yeah. that's true. That's, that's very true. They, they freaking did. Or shoot, even Street do a Battletoads and Double Dragon game. Just do that combo again. Man, that was so dope. I remember that game, bro. Oh. Or do the Ninja Turtles like the, uh, y'all remember Ninja, the arcade version of Ninja Turtles 2? Man, they got Super Monkey Ball. Yeah. I think they re-released that on PS3, I believe. I believe it. Which one? Hmm? We were still playing Genesis when um, Toy Story came out. Were we? Yeah, we, well, well yeah, dude, it's, it's, yeah, dude, because, yeah, because what you call it, uh, I mean, for us to get another, before we even got a new Toy Story, it took a minute. It took a while. Like a long time. Okay. I, I, I was looking at all the second games on, places on the on the store. They got a it's like more like every single game. <laughs> they got Shinobi, Crazy Taxi, all that. Oh, Crazy Taxi was dope. Yeah, Crazy Taxi was dope. I think so they were uh, ready to rumble was over. Y'all oh, remember yeah. X-Men 2? Y'all remember X-Men 2, Clone Wars? Oh, dude, yep. yes, that was my game, bro. Oh, that was the, my favorite X-Men. <laughs> Man, yeah, the my first favorite game. one. Like, easy. I will play it to this day. It was hard as hell, but I'll play it to this day. Spider Man. What, was, what was the other one? Spider Man and the X Men, they had a game together as well. Yeah, Spider Man. Spider Man um, had a Sinister Six game. Yeah, then what, you had. What Carnage? You had, yeah, you had uh, Spider Man Maximum Carnage. That was yep. that game. And then, yeah, you had Sinister Six and Spider Man Maximum Carnage. Mm-hmm. Then you had a Spider-Man uh, and Venom game, too. Yep, they sure did. Yes, I mean... Did not know. Never what did have the three ninjas. Oh, uh, well, boxing ain't popular no more. Because <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, he's not lying. Because he, 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 he ain't doing fight night right now. I am saying he ain't no fighting, but bo- boxing itself is popular. Fuck you, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Boxing is popular. I love, I love boxing. I still watch boxing. I'm oh, just saying awesome. the masses, the masses yeah. don't grab that video on your page. No more. I don't know yeah. what mask you talking about, but everybody, I hang out with the boxer walking out. Bro, yeah, the, the boxer walking out. Bro, that was that the funniest was... thing I saw all weekend. <laughs> Man, that was so hilarious, bro. <laughs> that bro <laughs> then like, nah, I didn't, hold on, I really didn't know what to think when I saw that. I'm like, whoa, this is what happened. That they man heard he, he that. was five and zero, oh, and all of them were five knockouts, and he was bigger than him. And that man was like, okay, when they ring this nah. bell, I'm out. They man, said, man, they, said, they, said it was, they said it was out of they money. They said it was about money. Yeah, he yeah, didn't money. get paid. That he, said he wasn't making enough. Oh, did you get knocked out? Oh, okay. <laughs> I think mean, they going to take, take a punch. At least, at least block a punch or something and then fall down. You know what I'm saying? That ain't enough. <laughs> just do the freaking freaking finger down, guy. Don't you, let him just punch you, you one time you and just fall down. You got fucked up. You know what I'm saying? Don't just don't even give yourself a chance. You know what I'm saying? Take a punch or something. Then like, oh shit, the nigga is a killer. I'm done. <laughs> Who's your finger hole? Something. I would love to have a boxing podcast because I hate when people come to me and talk about Floyd Mayweather, the greatest of all time. If you cannot take that from Ali, he was the first person to say he would. 
Uh, I mean, nah, I mean you, gotta be, you, gotta be, you gotta be, you gotta one. They ain't saying all time. They saying in his weight class all time. Not, not fucking all. Like no, it's, too many, mean, it's, it's too many, it's too many great, like really great ass boxers. Like to pick out one. Yeah. Even Muhammad Ali, I don't think it's the best ever. I don't think there's, I don't think there's one specific best boxer, uh, but there's so many better ones. So, but you know, you know, like real talk, the fight. I wish we could have saw if he, if Floyd would have came around a little earlier. Is Floyd versus uh? I was just for to say the damn main name. Uh, huh? No. Floyd versus uh Roy Jones Jr. Thank you, Roy Jones Jr. No, nah, they never would have fought though. No, nah, they they was in way different weight classes. Roy was in the middleweight. Remember when Roy started, he was a middleweight and then he moved yeah. up weight classes. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm telling you, I'm just letting you know. I know Mayweather that nigga would never they would never fall. <laughs> they wouldn't fall. This Not saying is, Roy, is, is, Roy, Roy would have won that fight. Night. Well, yeah, Roy would have won that fight. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, nah, it wouldn't happen because um, cause Roy would have to cut cut weight to come down because because May- Mayweather wouldn't go up. Other thing, other thing about that, uh, we're gonna move on to our next topic. Other thing about that with fight night, it's Mayweather fault. We probably ain't got fight night too. You know why? It probably because is. if they won the money. game, they would have, he would have to yeah, have bankrupt money. EA EA Sports to get him on the damn game. <laughs> Because you remember, it took so long for them to get Mike Tyson on the Thank game. Thank you. That's, that's exactly my point. He would freaking bankrupt EA Sports just to get put on the game. I mean, honestly, nigga, I buy that shit without being with being on the goddamn game. I'm cool with that nigga honestly, not being yeah, on the game. Yeah, because, I mean, they I'm don't have a creation cool engine. We just, make we just make them and be done with it. Basically. <laughs> Shoot. Uh-huh. Uh, all right. I got to this out of my system. Hey, can y'all hear me? Thank you. Hold on. There you go. Oh, that was it? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> really? Seriously? <laughs> hey, I mean, I had to, I had to let that one go. I had to let that one out. <laughs> that's, that was the uh, PlayStation Two sound, wasn't it? No, that's the first PlayStation, PlayStation that's one. The one, bro. That's the one. I, I, but it, it was the extra at the little end that made me think it was the PlayStation Two. I remember the PlayStation. Mm-hmm. I, no, that was the one. That was definitely the one. Um, then we got, uh, we got Destiny 2 <laughs> doing a preview weekend for Gambit, uh, on September 1st, uh, get to play the PVP PVE mode for 24 hours. So those who play Destiny. Hey, one more to... thing. Y'all. What's up? Hmm? PlayStation don't even make no noise no more. It just turned on. <laughs> no, if you got the music on, it, it sounds like freaking, uh, it, it sounds like freaking, uh, therapy music. Like you get in the back room. That's what it sound like. Oh, I, I, I have my music ain't on. I just, I just hear a beat. Yeah, when you first got it and that music is on by default, if you just have it on, man, that music is like, you can probably take a nap or go to sleep with that music on. Something to make you want to say, ah. Yeah, exactly. Like you, it's just, a, it's, you just it's a relax. It's therapy music. <laughs> Shoot. Or is that uh, okay, music that comes on before you go see an opera? But, oh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I don't see that. I don't see an opera in my future, though. So. <laughs> I'm just saying, this is what it sounds like the intro you hear before you go to an opera. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> really? <laughs> you know, I'm uncomfortable anyway, so I don't know what an opera is. Sound effects? You know that big old violin that go. Mm. I know what you're talking about. I know what you're talking about. <laughs> um, and then we got uh, then we got oh, Xbox uh, in the news this week. Uh, Gamescom was last week, so we got like a lot of announcements, uh, but just primarily like a lot of game footage from a lot of games that'll be uh, coming out pretty soon. But one of the biggest things that came out of Gamescom is there was a rumor um, that Xbox was going to do a Xbox All Access uh, service and. The description of it was basically that you can buy Xbox, S, or X, and you get Game Pass and Xbox Live all rolled into a bundle, and you pay monthly for it. And you basically are paying, and so they rolled out details today on the service itself, and I can give you, uh, hold on, let me pull it up. I got the details on the breakdown on that. 
So basically, uh, it's no upfront cost, one low monthly payment, zero APR for 24 months. You get 24 months of Xbox Game Pass and 24 months of Xbox Live Gold, all for $22 a month if you want to do an S and 35 if you want to do an Xbox One X. They basically so they own it now. Xbox, huh? How they gonna repo this? They just gonna shoot your credit in hell. No, they're not gonna repo it. They say it's not a lease. It's not a rent or a lease. Uh, is your console outright? I mean, that's different. That, that's, I mean, it's a different. And they different. and they think and they think Xbox. They think Microsoft gonna end up beating PlayStation. Bitch, PlayStation ain't have no shit like this. It's, it's it's becoming a more common thing, especially with like the thing with cell phone. Uh, it's, uh, just to piggyback off of that same thing that Microsoft is doing, Samsung does their TVs like that. If you go to Samsung website, yeah, they do it now. Yep. They do it now. You basically can buy a TV. You can basically pay a monthly fee, just like you do with your cell phone leasing fee for your TV. And when a new model comes out, you can trade in your TV and get the newest one when they come out with new models. So basically, they can get they can get money for you for life. For life. Pretty much. Uh, you just, pretty much. You know, <laughs> if, you're, if you're that much of a diehard fan for Samsung TVs, then yeah. Uh, um, man, I got I got the same TV. I, I I'm still watching the same flat screen I bought when I was the, the first day the PlayStation Three dropped. I got this flat screen that same day. Man, I done been through so many TVs since then. I've been through like no sir. Plasma TV, flat screen. Uh, no. Yeah, I've been through like nope. about three or four TVs since then. I got a. You count it as a lifetime. It's like a, huh? I got an LED TV. You said you said what's it? In your lifetime? Not in my lifetime. Just, counting? I'm counting TVs like flat screen TV, like when like HD TVs came. Because shoot, before I got into Working in the electronics industry, man, I had two TVs. I didn't shoot. It was, it was good to buy a TV from Walmart every time. We were uh, we still <laughs> watching. We, like, in high school, we were still watching box TVs. <laughs> yeah, we, yeah, we were still. Yeah, hell yeah. Shoot, my first Until TV, we did. My first, my, shoot, my first TV I got was like a, when I first started working for, uh, when I saw, first started working for Sony, I had got like a, the first meeting I went to was like a holiday meeting, and it was a raffle, and I won like a plasma TV. So I just free. Well, so, dang. Oh, that's dope. Could, could complain on that one. It was, <laughs> it was a new hire and won a free TV. Hey, my, my first flash screen. So, um, but yeah, man. So, what y'all think about this? Uh, this new Xbox service. I, okay, I, let me get this right. Xbox. I mean, Microsoft has been buying, buying up a lot of studios and stuff, right? Yep, and they said, and on top of that, and, with that same article, they said they're looking to to purchase more studios. On top of that, too. Okay, so they trying to get a lot of exclusives. They they really trying to. They trying to go. They're trying to go hard in the next generation because they got freaking demolished. Bollywood. Yeah, Shoot. Uh, what is the current what is the current count for Microsoft consoles right now? Let's see. I don't know. I know PlayStation turned to all the interesting Goku. Xbox, Xbox 360, <laughs> Xbox One, well, Xbox Slim, <laughs> Xbox One, Xbox X. PlayStation, PlayStation 4 no. hit the market and said Detroit Smash. <laughs> Let's see if I can find this. I know because I know PlayStation is at like they just crossed they just crossed eighty million. Yeah. Uh okay. They still at the same amount that they kind of kind of where they were thirty million at the end of, at the end of twenty at the end of twenty seventeen they were at thirty they was at thirty million and PlayStation compared to seventy at that time at the end of twenty seventeen PlayStation was at seventy three million at that time. So what kills me is when I hear Xbox fanboys talk about how much better Xbox is than PlayStation. If that was the case, I think they would be somewhere around even with sales. Not the case oh, because is it, is Connect it, is it, and all that crap kind of killed their, yeah. kind of killed them because they tried. Well, they, move, they, 
They targeted <laughs> they no with the with the one they targeted the wrong audience. They tried to target the casual because they tried to make it an entertainment device with you know connecting your cable box to the console and blah blah blah. And they talked zero about games. And PlayStation came up on their E3 and just straight smashed them and said, "We're all about games," and that's what had made them win. That's why everybody bought play, play PS4. They were talking. They were they were they were legit targeting the wrong audience with the one, and now they're trying to correct the course now because they they're freaking getting destroyed now. There ain't no really no correcting the course. It's like yeah, I mean. Y'all know me, man. When I when I get with a brand, I stick with a brand. I've only worn Nike tennis shoes my whole life. I had one pair of Fila's that my dad, who didn't know no better, bought me. But they were some Grand Hills. I've <laughs> been with I've been with Sony since my first PlayStation, and you know I I had a sixty four and I done had a Wii. Now I got a Switch, but I don't even play my Switch because I'm waiting on Super Smash Brothers. So I only play my PlayStation. Like to me, Nintendo don't even compete with PlayStation and Microsoft or Sony and Microsoft right now. So the the big fight is between you know Microsoft and Sony, and let Sega decide to make a Dreamcast two that just blow all this shit out the water, which is not possible. <laughs> I mean. Had Sega not been ahead of their time with the Dreamcast, I, I think it had just released at the wrong time. And they, I think they ain't had no exclusives really, except for like Street Fighter. And it wasn't even. Games. It wasn't even really that man. It was just they. I think they lost a lot of money on that system, and which is why now they are conducive. It to sold just... out in Japan and America before it even hit the market. No, I know, I know, but it was just the play. It was just the PlayStation that came out too. It was just, it was something way different than what they were doing. And it's it was just, cheaper too. The PlayStation was cheap and, too. That, and, and and at the end of the day, that always plays a part. It's always like who's going to make the cheaper console? Who's going to get the better best bang for the buck? Because that's how PS3 lost last gen because the Xbox 360 was cheaper. Yeah. yeah. And then PlayStation, the PS3, to me, what PS3 messed up at, you made one generation that was backwards compatible, then you made the generation that wasn't backwards compatible, then you made, out of them generations, you had one that came with a nice size hard drive, then you reduced the hard drive size in the later generation. It was just, they were just doing all types of dumb stuff. Yeah, they were trying to, I mean, they were trying to, well, I mean, people didn't give, a, give them a very good, uh, you know, response to the six hundred dollar price point, so they had to make two consoles. One one with no yeah. wireless no one with no wireless and one with wireless and so you pick your poison. Yeah. And then when Wi Fi and, and, and then and then when Wi Fi became a commodity, everybody wanted to freaking do freaking uh freaking power bridges to get their uh what is the Ethernet bridge to try to make they yeah. make their stuff wireless because everybody was on Wi Fi then. Yeah. It became a thing. Yeah. I know when I bought my PlayStation, my my PlayStation Three, I think I spent right at nine hundred and fifty dollars that day because I bought the PlayStation, I bought like six games, uh, extra joystick, the PlayStation Move, like all that stuff at one time. Man, I think I, I think I got, I think I had just the console, and I think I bought maybe bought one or two games. I don't even remember what two games I bought at the time. I think during that time, though, man, I think I bought so many games. Like I was buying games back then. Like when it, if it once it, if I do the release date and it launch, I trust me, I had it. Like day mm-hmm. one. Shoot, not no more. I will be right Shoot. back, y'all. I'll be right back, y'all. All right, um, I'll, I'll all right man. I'm definitely gonna more. All right, so uh, after that, okay, so Disney announced today. But they have come up with a name for their streaming service now. Um, What's the name? It's called Disney Play. So that's going to be the. That is what? The, yeah, that's the really. Name. That's not what they rattled their brain. What y'all thought of Disney Play? Yeah, like that. That's not like something from kid, uh, a Disney kids show of uh, Long Time or whatever. Come on, they're they're, 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 they're kids. Like, 
So it what? sounds like a Disney attraction that failed on a. <laughs> you couldn't come up with something better than that Disney play. That sounds like some cheap Nintendo game or something like that, an amiibo game or whatever. They probably had universe. Disney play. They probably had universe, but then DC dropped and they were like, "Oh damn, we gotta check that with something else." Man, I could have came up with something else, man. It's Disney Play. Disney it's not like a, Play. It's not like a daycare. It's not like an expensive, that sounds like an expensive daycare. Just groundbreaking, isn't it? They was like, Disney Play, where we'll charge you $3,000 a month just to watch your kids for a whole day. Yeah, that's what that sounds like, an expensive daycare. I'm saying this, I don't even have kids. So, yeah, yeah, Disney. Yeah, Could've... Disney. Disney Play is the name. Um, they did also reveal some other stuff. They were like, they're, they're, like the service from a financial standpoint for Disney, they're gonna lose money on it for for a while before they actually start recouping anything. I'm sure uh, they will with a name like that. Well, not even with the name. It's just <laughs> for, for whatever, like for financial reason, they said they're gonna be losing. They're gonna be losing money for a little bit before they start. Before they actually start recouping, because with Netflix, they were making they were making profit with those shows being and all that content from their. Uh, library being on Netflix, they were making a lot of money just you know doing it through Netflix. But I mean, they got to upfront and put all that content, you know, servers and all that good stuff to get that service up and running. That's going, it's going to cost them. It's going to cost them some money. Um, Superman and Lois Lane will be appearing on in the Arrowverse crossover event. So. For those who've been living under rock, uh, the new crossover event that happens every season between all the CW superhero shows, uh, we'll be getting um, Batwoman, of course, but um, and it'll be kind of more based around her character. Uh, the crossover event will be, and so they announced that uh, the Superman that shows up on Supergirl, and they will be introducing. They've mentioned Lois Lane in context on Supergirl, but she'll be making her. Uh, appearance uh, in this crossover event, and supposedly she'll become becoming a permanent fixture on a uh, Supergirl. So most people don't really like that the current Superman we have because he didn't have broad shoulders. He's like he didn't have big shoulders. My wife called him calls him the the most ugly Superman she ever seen. <laughs> oh so. damn! Oh wow! <laughs> Uh, let's see here. Then we got um, Alec Baldwin is joining the Joker solo film. Um, yes, he is. What part is but he playing? Do, do we know yet? They cast in him as Thomas Wayne. What? Is this is the Joaquin Phoenix's Joker film, and I don't know why they're going with this choice. Um, I think that this this film is obviously separate. from from the other movies, obviously, for them to make this choice and not go with uh, well, uh no. what was the other guy? That- well, let it, Jerry Leto. So, <laughs> so, to, so to clarify, there's two Joker movies happening. I guess so. <laughs> with two separate yeah. Jokers, there's two Joker movies happening. See, no, this don't know is why. why it's going down in flames with gasoline draws. <laughs> we, we all, I'm okay. I, I'm literally scratching my scratching my head with it too. I'm like, um. I can see how it's it as Thomas Wayne, though. I mean, I can see that part because he has like that dark demeanor. But why are there two different? So they're still doing the Suicide Squad Joker along with the Solo Joker. Yep. And, yep. And so I don't know if we talked about this either. So you know who's playing Morbius, right? In the solo film, right? Who? Oh. Yeah, Jared, Jared Leto. So. Oh my Yep. I like him better as Morbius. I would. I would. I cannot lie. I like him. I like him being cast as Morbius. Um. But yeah. So, because they say Jared Leto's Marvel role will not affect his Joker role. So. You know, he's he's hitting a uh, what's his name that plays Thanos? He's in the Josh. Uh, he's that's the uh, bro. Right ah. <laughs> he's two different two different people in the freaking MCU, and he's two different people in two different universes altogether. Wow! But seeing his role just kind of just uh put all my hopes and dreams of seeing a Flashpoint in the future just all that down the drain. 
Yeah, Flash, is on, Flash is on hold. They said that with everything with the restructure with DC, what I've read, that the the Flash movie is on hold. Until we don't never get the movie. That Flash I really movie, did. It's on hold. I didn't really like Ezra as Flash in the in the first place. Anyway, I mean, you can't he write. Like, he was all right. I would say this much for uh, as a Flash fan. Um, for those who may or may not know. So the so the different lightning colors on the flash mean something, and so yellow lightning Thank flash you. is kind of the beginning of the flash when he first gets his power. Blue lightning is really like high tier flash, and for him to trip up as much as he did in Justice League, he did not deserve that color lightning that he had on him. Wasn't his yeah was wasn't his lightning blue in yes, the film? Was, yeah, it was blue. And that's like really advanced season flash with the blue lightning. He should have had yellow. He should have really had yellow. <laughs> he really should have had. He should really should have had the yellow lightning because it just for them saying that oh like oh he's experienced blah blah blah. I'm like bruh, you was tripping up a whole lot. You like you just got your powers like last week. So it's like. Yeah, that's that's one. That's really one problem I had with him. I mean, we could have got you know, Flash from the CW. We would have been, would have been straight. Just saying. Also, for those who do watch Flash, uh, we getting the Flash ring this season, so you know, no more keeping the suit on the mannequin anymore. The suit just come out of the ring now. So yeah. Um, well, something else that I was going to talk about that wasn't on the. Uh, on the agenda, uh, but while I think about that, let's talk about these. Uh, let's talk about this Captain uh, Captain Marvel. So Captain Marvel pitches emerge, and Agent Phil Coulson is coming back. Uh, is coming back to be in Captain Marvel. So I'm pretty sure it's probably going to be like a a younger version because I know I heard there's going to be a younger version of a. Um, yeah, it's uh, dated in the 1990s. It's dated yeah, it's in, in the, the 90s. 90s. They're doing a Wonder Woman thing with, like, Wonder Woman in the 80s. They're doing the 90s. So it's like everybody's, like, doing tit for tat. Yeah, well, it's going to explain. Well, I know I know from what I've heard from the whole Captain Marvel thing, it kind of is going to tell, like, where, uh, kind of like, as far as we're going to know exactly where she's coming from and which on top of that, the reason for those who may or may not know, or may not know a lot about Captain Marvel, uh, her powers are cosmic powers. And some people probably wonder like, okay, out of all 16, 17 people he fought in infinity war, what makes her so special? So her ability is cosmic powers and she can also absorb cosmic energy. So in the situation, which more like is going to happen when Thanos tries to blast her with the gauntlet, it don't affect her. She absorbs the energy. She basically still surfer. So it kind of. So it's still a little bit stronger than she is. But anyway. Um, but yeah. And she's the only one that can wield the, the gauntlet as well. Yeah. Well, Gamora well, can. She, she, would, she, would, she would legit die in, in, in the process of... Come on, we've but, seen... Like, in the comics, we've seen a lot of people wield the gauntlet. Yeah, that's true. Comics is one thing, but you know, MCU they make it. You know, they make some certain things seem like they shouldn't seem. Um, exactly. Yeah, so <laughs> they kind of they kind of they kind of nerf a lot of people down to you know. Out of yeah. all the people Samuel could call, he called her. So. Yeah, that's true. That means that was that that's what left it. So such a because really because because really if you think about it, the only person that could actually could have the only person that really could actually could go toe to toe with him at this point in time is her and Thor. And Thor pretty exactly. much had him dead to rights if it went for the snap. So she was the only one left. Like, that was the last resort. Mm-hmm. So that's what makes it a big, oh my God, moment. Mm-hmm. So, so that's, um, a, that's what I'm guessing. Yeah, yeah, that's what, that's what for sure is like. Um,. It's gonna be very interesting to see. I'm wondering. That's so the other part. I'm wondering. So, when is um? Anybody know when New York Comic Con is? Is it October? I think it's October. Yeah, I think it's in 
October. October? Uh, yeah, around the 15th, 16th. 50s, okay, so we'll probably more likely get the Captain Marvel trailer around that time because we Marvel was not at uh, San Diego Comic Con, so they would most definitely have to be at New York Comic Con. And with Captain Marvel dropping in March, they got to drop. They got to do a. They got to do a teaser first, and then dropping a legit trailer uh, for the movie. So I'm pretty sure that's probably gonna be dropping at. Um, at New York Comic Con. Um, I know what it was I was talking about. Go ahead. Yeah. Wow, well, Marvel, um, Tom Hardy signed on three more Venom movies. Yeah, that's what I heard. That's what I heard. Um, I don't know if, you know, have they done screenings for it yet? Because we're, what, about, we're about, almost about to be a month out from Venom. So I'm assuming, I'm assuming they did uh, some some screenings for it, and they feel pretty confident. They got some good reaction from reviewers. I'm assuming at this point, the only reason I can see them him signing on if they got they feel like it's you know it's gonna be a good thing. It'll be a good you know it's gonna get a good reception. So um, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. I just um, want to know how long they're gonna last without bringing Spider Man onto the scene, like. Uh okay, let's see the real fight. Like, I think the I think the I think the overall box office is going to determine if Marvel wants to dip the water with uh with with Venom. That was like the same yeah. thing with that was like the same thing with uh Spider Man Homecoming. Uh, right. Because Kevin Feige kind of played Spider Man Homecoming from like with a with a with a ten foot pole. It was like it's us, but it's them really. And it wasn't until it got good reception. It's like, oh yeah, yeah, we you know we playing together. So I think that's gonna be I think that's gonna be the same thing with Venom. I think they're just they're playing it safe. If they if it gets a good reception and they you know they make budget you know and they recoup all their all their money within the first weekend from the first sale and it gets good good marks on Rotten Tomatoes, then you'll see them be like, okay, Gavin Feige, you know he always got an alternate plan. And you know, is if he, got, I'm pretty sure he got an alternate alternate plan somewhere with Venom being included if he wants to throw him in there. Because um, also, I don't know if I mentioned this last week either. Avengers Four is doing reshoots. Don't know what that means, but they yeah, are. Yeah, we did we did talk about that last week. Yeah, so they doing so they doing reshoots. Um, I know I was gonna bring it up too. Um, so y'all saw the videos that I put up with the uh, the new Age of DC happening in the comic books with the uh so basically marvel took the batman metal and it it kind of changed a lot of stuff in the universe you kind of have to read the um batman metal comics dc hmm you said marvel took the batman metal oh my bad yeah yeah, dc yeah dc uh the dc the new age of dc is happening in the comic and so uh they're basically taking the batman metal it kind of restructured a lot of uh, what's going on and kind of brought forth some new uh, new superheroes. So to give you guys a quick rundown without having to spoil a lot of the comics for those who, you know, who read comics and stuff like that or just been looking to get around to Batman Metal. So Batman Metal is basically... Basically, Batman Metal is... There's a, there was a... crazy. No, not even that. There was a, he's the original Batman that got a hold of, a, he got shot with the uh, the beams from Darkseid, which basically sent him back in time, and he became, uh, basically he became a god, and from then on, from the present, from the prime, because you know with all these different Earths, with Batman and all this different stuff, they the reason why it's called Batman Middle because he was in the Stone Age and so they basically what they did was they took all these middles and poisoned different Batmans on different Earths with which gave us all these different Batmans. So like uh, Red Death, which was like a which is like a a Flash version of Batman. You had um, there was another one that was kind of like Doomsday, uh, the Batman who laughs, which is like a cross between the Joker and Batman together. Um, I would say definitely check out uh, the one for the Batman Who Laughs because the Joker actually makes a cameo. The the real Joker makes a cameo in there, 
and for the first time ever, Batman and the Joker work. Batman and the Joker work together to defeat, to try to defeat that the Batman who laughs. So, um, trying to see what else. But yeah, so basically is that. But um, but in hindsight, was basically what has come out of that is got some new superheroes. So we got um, post up a video for the one called Damage. Damage is basically DC's Hulk. So with Damage, Damage is a uh, former military, um, former military. He wanted to, he saw Superman, Batman, all the different villains, and he wanted to be, you know, be a superhero or a vigilante, already, uh, a vigilante. So he signed up for a army government program and they ended up doing experiments on him and he becomes, was known as Damage. So, um... And then, from most part, from what I saw from the video, I actually been looking at some, been reading and looking at some of the comics. Looks pretty. I mean, it looks pretty good. It, I mean, it's very. I mean, can't lie. They did. They pull from origins of the uh, of the Hulk, of course. Um, but um, there were some things in there as far as that was kind of like very like eye opening though. Superman said, "Cause Superman, he ran across Superman. He ran across Wonder Woman." And Superman said he was the strongest person he's ever fought. And that's stronger than Doomsday. So. So what they trying to do, eliminate Doomsday by coming up with the damage, dude? Not even that. It's just when he said that, because, you know, Superman never says that crap. He never says, like, that was the strongest person. Because, you know, he didn't fought some of everybody. So for him to say, like, you know. That's the strongest person he's ever fought, and even even Wonder Woman said the same thing. She agreed with him in the comics. There, she agreed, and she's fought uh, she's fought Doomsday too. So, so that's just kind of give you an idea the level of strength this dude has, um, as far as as a character. And then the other thing about his character is that his form that he when he turns into them it only lasts an hour. So that's the one thing about his he can't. It's not really a thing of Sorry. anger or anything like that. So you can't. So the only thing you gotta do is pretty well drag the fight out about an hour, and he reaches his limit. Yeah, and then he has he freaking turns back. But he. But the thing is though, how they because he's basically a military weapon, and so every time he turns into damage, he doesn't remember. And his they basically the way they they created him, he doesn't remember anything he does as damage. So it wipes his memory every time he, he when he's when he turns back into human again. So he has no idea what he's done. Whereas with the Hulk, you know, Bruce Banner kind of remembers most of the time, uh, most of what he does. So, um, and then, then we had like Sideways. And so Sideways is kind of like their take on Spider-Man, but not really. Um, I mean, it's a dude in a leotard suit that looks like a, you know, a Spider-Man suit almost. But with Sideways, he opens up, he has these powers. He got his powers from the, from the, um, from the whole Batman middle deal uh, that went down. And so with him, he can open up rifts. And so he can basically like teleport within, you know, he can open up rifts in, in time and go from place to place, like really fast. So with him, um, definitely a lot of stuff they pull from, pull from Spider-Man on this one. He's adopted all that good stuff. So he doesn't, you know, doesn't know his real parents or anything like that. Very similar to being out know, the, they bit off the with great power comes great responsibility. Well, mm-hmm. uh, yep, yep, yep. They bit off. They bit off a lot of that um, as well. And then, like his villain, one of his villains. That's it's almost kind of like it's almost kind of like DC. The uh, the writer for this took um, kind of some pages out of Jumper too, because they got the villain that's kind of like you know you messing with time and space, and you, you know they don't like that so. You got this guy, this uh, this being that's coming out. Hold him. on, let me let me ask y'all something. Who all saw the jumper? I did. Just me and you. I'm saying yeah, it. I, like, ain't that uh, Anakin that playing it? I know. Yep. I don't know, dude. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, just make sure. Yeah, <laughs> I like that movie though. Yeah, that was a very good movie. I was really hoping it was gonna be a sequel to that. It was like some movies like I Am Number 4 and Jumper deserved a sequel and then they never got one. Uh, the four, what, what, what was the name of the movie? Was it called The Four Horsemen with the Magicians? No, uh, Now You See Me. Uh, I was so glad they made a sequel to that. 
I've never seen either yeah. of those, but I, need, I heard they were good, though. Oh, they were good. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Nice. Nice. yeah, they real good. Now, they sent me real dope. Especially the first one. Yeah, the yeah. first one, real dope. I'm going to check those out. I'm going to check those out. All right, man. So uh, we're going to bring Issue 74 of Nerdflow to a wrap, man. Uh, we're going to see you guys for Issue 75. Uh, again, please make sure you guys check out our bonus shows, Anime Rundown, Spitting Game, All Into Wrestling is another one that's coming soon. Um, check us out on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. You can either look for Nerdflow Podcast or Nerdflow. Uh, also, go over to Teespring and look up Nerdflow to get yourself official Nerdflow t-shirt as well. And uh, yeah, man, we are out of here. Uh, Deuces.